thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Live It. Tonight, Zoe and the Professor get pickled while trying to take a powder. Can the eager beaver Fahrenheit help Zoe find her killer dealer? Allow us to grandstand. So we welcome you to The Live It. Play with my scrap metal again? I can see you. Fahrenheit. It's it's me. Shh, you have to be quiet. Sorry. The, the cops are after me. Be quiet. Get in the house, for okay, the love of but, God. But look like you're not looking at me. Just a squirrel. Out! Scrap metal in your yard. Don't touch that. It's all very important to my research. Get Squirrels. Come in, come in. Ow. You're all cut up. Can I interest you in some whiskey? Maybe a scotch. Sure, yeah. You know what, that, that actually be really nice right now. So tell me, why, why are you hiding from the cops? <coughs> I remember my first whiskey. Okay. <coughs> um. Sorry, I'm an asshole. That's kind of my thing. So, so I snuck in. I got, I got into the mansion and I found the safe. It's in, it's in Duncan's closet. It, it's full of just pants and jackets and ties. It's behind a sock drawer. If you, if you push it, it it's just right there. But, but, but it has a, it has a combination, and I don't know the combination. And, and, and when I was hiding. Um, Duncan came in and it was it was really weird because he didn't have his pants on and and Elizabeth was talking about how much she hates him and um but not not to his face and she was singing it horribly horribly singing it and and, and she gave him his pants and then and then Blanche and Elizabeth were talking and and Elizabeth was just saying how how horribly Dudley treated her and how it, he, he shipped her off in a crate and. And I don't know why. And he, she was talking about how how horribly he would he would beat her, and and she's got scars. But she cleans the window with her spit. I don't know what is wrong with this family. And then and then Blanche, she she found me, and she she was accusing me. She said I was gonna hurt Duncan, and I I didn't know what to do. I, I was making up some lie about how I came to visit Duncan, and and then and then they called the cops, and and now she's for sure I did it because I went back to their house again. And Elizabeth called the cops again, and so she called them twice for some reason. And and they came and they picked me up and and they they arrested me and I was in a jail cell. And and then Quiggs came and and we got into a huge argument because he he didn't know what to believe it. But but he dropped me the key and then I stuck out and I was running from the cops for miles and and now I'm here. Sorry, that's kind of a lot. I know. No, please. Always happy to hear a tale from a weary traveler. Can I have more alcohol, please? I mean, of course, of course. Of course. You've had quite the night. A night of adventure. <coughs> a night of terror. You're making it sound awfully theatrical. No, <laughs> my dear, life is theatrics. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players, after all. You know, this is not the conversation I want to be having right now. I've kind of been through a lot. Of course you've been through a lot. We've all been through a lot. But the question is, do you let it destroy you or do you grow from it? Not the questions we need to be asking right now, Fahrenheit. Then Zoe, my dear, let's ask the real questions. Where do we go from here? What do we do? I don't know. That's why. That's why I'm here. Because we need. We need to think about what to do. I know where the safe is. We found the safe, but. But it's. It's 
the number combinations. I don't know what numbers that could be. You're frantic. I need you to calm down, Zoe. I need Get you me to... more alcohol then. I don't know. <laughs> more alcohol. You'll be on your ass. I need you to take a deep breath. Now let's start asking questions. Who's the real killer? Me and you both know it wasn't you. Yeah. So then who's the real killer? I mean, I, at first I thought it could have been Mrs. Brannister. She just seemed so pompous and skeptical, but but then maybe I thought Duncan, but Duncan's too much of an idiot. And I mean, now the only one that seems to be left is Lisbeth, and, and it seems like she had kind of a motive, I guess, with how horribly Dudley treated her, but it seemed like Dudley really treated everyone horribly, so could be anyone at this point. Good, good. We're getting to the root. We're getting to the root of it all. The next question that we need to be asking ourselves is how do we get this ruby? Because honestly, the killer doesn't matter too much as long as we can get you back to your proper time. I guess, yeah. We have to power the machine. And But I know where it is. We, we need to think of a combination. Mm, a combination. You don't get to be that rich by putting one, two, three, four as your combination to I mean, safe. honestly, with this family, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I mean, it could be. Did you try it? No, I was I was too busy freaking out, and then I didn't... I think I put, like, 30-something. I was trying to think of how old everybody was. These are all excellent questions. But now we need to think, what is the best route we can take? How do we get what we both desire? I can't go back in there. If they, if they catch me again... And oh, but Zoe, you have to go back. Why Why me? I, if I'm caught again, they're going to... They're gonna detain me. They're gonna send me to some mental ward, probably. I, I, I've broken out already, and I've been back there. I, I can't go back there. That's why they won't suspect you to go back again. They think you're in jail. You have the element of surprise. But, but the cops know I snuck out. They're gonna be looking for me. Wouldn't that be one of the first places they'd look? Why would you go right back there? That seems pretty stupid. Which is why you're going to do it. You always do the stupidest thing you can think of. Fine. Because nobody suspects you to do the stupidest thing. Some of the smartest people in the world are raving idiots. Look at me. I'm screaming at you for no apparent reason. Yeah. I've been drinking all night. I'm sitting right next to you. I can smell it on your breath. Oh, a <laughs> fine year for whiskey. But we are going to get you home. One way or another. And there's only one way we can really do that. You're gonna have to pin the blame on the maid. I mean, it, it makes sense, I guess, but but how? who's gonna believe me? They, I'm the number one suspect right now. How am I gonna blame someone else? They're just gonna think I'm gonna- Oh, it's not about you, them believing you, my dear. It's about them not believing her. There's a difference between the two. Okay, but we still need the ruby, and then how exactly are we going to pin the maid? Well, once the maid is pinned, the ruby will fall right into your hands. That's how not you... how safes work. I mean, I'm very drunk. I mean, maybe if we can get the combination out of Lizard I was somehow. not expecting company. If we can get the combination out of Lisbeth, then, then, that, then we'll be good. Then we can get the ruby and we can pin it on her somehow because she she's the only one that should know the combination besides the Brannisters. Yes! Elizabeth the maid has been in the family for years. If she doesn't know the combination then all is lost. But we are working under the assumption that she does know the combination. Pin the maid! Get the combination! Retrieve the ruby! Return home! Those are your options. Do or die, Zoe. Make your choice. I'm going to drink more whiskey. I mean, plan B, I could bring a crowbar and just try to break into the safe. Hey, that was an option, too. I mean, just in case. Yeah. Kind of ruined the drama there. I'm, I'm just saying, like, in case she doesn't know the combination. Yeah, there's a We're going to need to get... There's a crowbar under the couch. I okay. use it for crowbarring things. Obviously. Also, don't touch the scrap metal outside again, or I might accidentally shoot you. I might get an infection. I am very drunk. I don't drunk. think you guys have tetanus shots yet. What's a tetanus? Okay.
This has been a Just Serendipity production recorded by John McLean and James Von Bolt at the legendary Dog and Pony Studios.